Have you ever had an experience that was truly life-changing? One where, in the beginning, you were hesitant, but in the end, you discovered that the experience presented answers you never even really knew you were searching for. Moving back to Phoenix changed my family's life. I grew up in Arizona, and if you would have told my 16-year-old self that Phoenix was the answer to my dreams, I would have said you were crazy. <laughs> Here's our story. In 2015, we were living in Omaha, Nebraska, when my husband Jake learned we were being transferred back to Arizona. Our son Dylan was a little over a year old, nonverbal, and I was starting to have concerns about him meeting developmental milestones. Our trusted pediatrician in Omaha told us there was nothing to worry about. He even said, look, Dylan's making eye contact. He doesn't have autism. Fast forward to March 2016, one month after our move back to Phoenix. I was scrambling to find a pediatrician for Dylan's 18-month well check. A friend of ours recommended someone, and at our first appointment, we learned that our pediatrician was partnered with Sark on a project screening babies for autism. As I filled out the screening tool, my heart started to race. I recognized many red flags. We soon learned that Dylan received an at-risk diagnosis of autism. We enrolled in Sark's Jumpstart program, and Dylan was the youngest child in the class. Jumpstart was eye-opening. We gained a better understanding of autism, how to increase Dylan's ver verbal skills, how to advocate for Dylan, and how to access state services. I was learning as much as I could, as fast as I could. It wasn't only important for Dylan. I was six months pregnant with our daughter. Since autism is 20% more common with siblings, we knew we could have our work cut out for us. Vivian was born in June of 2016, one month. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Dylan was not yet two years old. Vivian went through the same screening study as soon as she was able, at 12 months. And she also received an at-risk diagnosis. The next month, we enrolled in Sark's Milestone program, where our therapist worked with us to target goals through play and everyday interactions and routines. What's interesting about Vivian is that her autism looks very different than Dylan's. She seeks out social interaction, she has advanced speech, but she has very rigid routines and sometimes repetitive speech. They say that girls can often present differently than boys, so girls can be harder to diagnose. If Vivian had been our first, we may not have been as vigilant in receiving a diagnosis. Receiving an early diagnosis for both Dylan and Vivian was crucial for our family. It allowed us to access ABA therapies that have made such a difference in our children's lives. It also allowed Jake and I to prepare for our journey as parents early, both emotionally and mentally. The average age of diagnosis of autism in Arizona is nearly five years old. We started early intervention at 18 months with Dylan, and at birth with Vivian. I can't imagine where we would be today if we had waited. So my message to you today is this. If you have a concern about your child's development, don't wait, seek help. Pay attention to the signs even when they are babies. Is your child babbling by 12 months, responding to their name, making consistent eye contact, and watch how they interact in social settings with their peers. The earlier you seek help, the better chance they have at getting the skills they need in order to meet those crucial milestones. The therapy and tools you learn will only help you to be a better parent and prepare for your family's future. Jake and I know we are lucky. Our children have been born in a time where there is more known about autism. And there are organizations like SARC providing important resources for our families. Yeah. 
We are grateful to so many along our journey for embracing the spirit of Next is Now in their everyday work. Sorry. Our pediatrician, the early screening study, Milestones, Jumpstart, and the community school. We take comfort in the fact that as Dylan and Vivian get older, there will be even more effective programs to help support our family. Our hope for Dylan and Vivian is that they are happy, and we're excited for what their future holds. Moving back to Arizona has been truly life-changing. We're happy to be back home, surrounded by our family, who has been our lifeline over the last three years. It has been a blessing to find Sark, who have helped us build a better future for our children. From our family to all of you, thank you for supporting Sark and for giving hope and a path forward to families like ours. Thank you.